Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to go over our Faraday bags with you, give you a bit of information on some examples of what can go in there. We get calls daily on this. A lot of people are starting to get concerned uh, with world events, what's going on with basically the potential of, I hate saying it, um, God forbid a nuclear war. Like, let's cross our fingers, it doesn't happen, but a lot of people are concerned about this. So first and foremost, here's our Faraday bag right here. Uh, some of the things to go over real quick, um, we use a ballistic waterproof uh, nylon, which is on the outside here. Uh, it has two handles, one on either side. Uh, the interior material, which is Faraday material, we use three layers, not two. Most other companies use two. I'm a firm believer in overkill, not underkill, especially with the safety of, of your electronics. Um, just made sense to me. We use... Um, now the Velcro that we use is an industrial grade, so it definitely, it's, it's a very strong, uh, secure uh, hold. It's going to keep all of you, it's going to keep the signal from, from going in or out, which is the most important thing. Uh, you can't see it, but on the base, on the inside, is an aluminum plate. And that's just basically to give you a little bit of uh, rigidity if you have to move this around. And then what we've done here, we've got, this is the larger one, there's two in total. So there's a clear sle uh, sleeve here with a clear plastic cover. So if you wanted to label it and say what's in there, uh, even put a date or an example. So what I've done here is, this is one of my personal ones. Uh, this one holds a B300 EcoFlow, B th or not EcoFlow, a uh, Blue Eddy B300 uh, battery. Uh, it's a 3000, what is it? Yeah, 3072 watt hour. This holds three 50 watt base station radios. It holds eight 10 watts uh, handheld radios. And I have this labeled as November 20, uh, November uh, 2022. So that way I know that that was the last time this specific battery pack as an example that I'd taken it out, I'd extra exercised it, basically uh, discharged it, ran, I don't know, my fridge, freezer, whatever it may be. Uh, ran that and then charged it back up to put it back in and just as a side note guys most of the battery uh, Portable power stations or solar generators on the market. They do say it's it's healthy for you to exercise them every four to six months So that's why I would label it like that So I'm gonna go over some examples of some of the power stations that can go on there and right now I'm just focusing on some of the more popular ones I'm not going to cover them all but at least it's going to give you a really good idea based on your scenario What could work for you? So one of the first ones I'm going to go with, which is actually the, our, our, um, uh, our, one of our top sellers, and that's this guy right here. This is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. So that'll easily fit in there with a little bit of space extra for other devices as well too. So that Delta Pro is 3,600 watt hours. So that's the battery capacity. That's how much power that you can house within our Faraday bag. Another example of an EcoFlow product, we've got two Delta Maxes right here. Each of these are 2,048 watt hour. So that's just under four, four yeah, just under 4,100 watt hour of battery capacity that you can store in the Faraday bags. Um, other examples, you can do, here's the EcoFlow Delta II. You could easily fit, oh shoot, you can stack these. You could do, see, about four to five of these in there, just with the size of these. And these are a thousand, if I'm not mistaken, a thousand twenty-four hour, or a thousand twenty-four um watt hour battery capacity even some of the smaller generators so we've got here's an ecoflow river 2 max there's a river 2 pro you could fit several of these several of the smaller blue eddies or the jackeries or the gold zeros there's multiple ones that can fit in there regarding the one of the two of the more popular blue eddy models we've got the blue eddy ac 300 right here this will easily fit in there with extra space so you can put other devices as well too um, the uh, the battery packs for the AC 300. That's these guys right here. Two of these fit in perfectly. So that's that's going to basically give you 6,144 uh, watt hour battery capacity housed in one Faraday bag of spare power. Um, here's the AC 200 Max the Blue Eddy as well too, with the um, and that's 2,048 watt hour. That's your battery capacity, and below it is the expansion battery. You can easily fit two of the expansion batteries and the AC200 Max again. So again, very similar to uh, your battery capacity of two of the, the, two of the B300s. That's, that's a lot of battery capacity. Uh, the Lion uh, Safari ME and its expansion battery, you can easily fit one of those in there. Um, again, and that's 3,000 watt hour of battery capacity that's held safe in case there was an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. In case there was 
those specific devices your backup power would be in there it would be safe uh, some of the other things that you can do a lot of people are using these 12 um, 6 12 volts 6 volt 36 volt you name it uh, lithium batteries like here's a Dakota lithium 100 amp hour battery this is a thousand two hundred and eighty watt hours you could put several of these uh, in the uh, the Faraday bag as well too if you were wanting a gas generator you could do a smaller Honda 2200 or Honda 2000 any of the Yamaha models as well too they'll easily fit in there and there's still going to be space to put other devices um, what I do personally myself just to kind of give you an example some of the other devices I put in I've got several of these um, Milwaukee lithium batteries for my Milwaukee um, uh, cordless power tools my Milwaukee chainsaw and by the way those Milwaukee chainsaws they're awesome the amount of power that this battery puts out the amount of trees that I can buck up and you're not reliant on gas and then I can charge these from any of these solar generators that are being powered by my solar blankets just makes it yeah makes you very everything's very portable and deployable which which to me makes a lot of sense so I can I'll put a lot of these in there as well too I've got uh, a backup radio emergency radio that'll go in there I've got I didn't bring it out but I have a backup laptop that'll be in there uh, lots of double AA, A, triple A, uh, D cell, any of the batteries that I think make sense for the devices that I have. Um, these are those little 10 watt uh, handheld VHF, UHF uh, Bullfang radios. I've got several of these in there as well too, as just as a just in case. I didn't take these out of the box, but here's a 2700 lumen headlamp, a 4400 lumen uh, flashlight. We offer these, by the way, with our backpacking kit with our 28 and a half watt solar panel. Um, so I've got several of these that are put away. And the reason I have these is these charge from USB. So they'll charge directly from the back of our solar blankets. Anything from our 28 and a half watt all the way to our 220 watt solar blanket. And on that note, you can, you can also hold in our Faraday bag several of our solar blankets. So give you an example of size, that's our 220 watt solar blanket here. It's only 13.6 pounds. As you can see, folds up to the size of a laptop. When you compare the size of these guys, you can see you can stack a ton of these in there and have a lot of usable solar in case you're concerned about the internal circuitry being affected by uh, an electromagnetic pulse. So that would be safe. And just to kind of give you an example, um, I'm going to use this guy right here as, as an example. This is an EcoFlow. They're, they're not bad panels. We sell these. This is a 400 watt EcoFlow panel. Bluetti offers something similar. Jackery has theirs. Just showing you they're, they're, they're good panels for what they are. Um, they're just bigger. They're bulkier. They're not going to fit in the Faraday bags. So if you're concerned about your solar, your physical solar blanket or panels, it's going to be a lot easier with what we offer to put that in there. But I do understand our solar blankets are not necessarily in everybody's budget, but it is, and it is an option for that. Um, other than that, guys, just wanted to let you know about the Faraday bags, give you an idea. I'm a visual person, and being that we're getting calls daily, I figured I'd just really quickly do a video, post this, give you guys an idea of what all goes in there, and hopefully that'll answer a few questions. But on that note, still, like if you have any questions, feel free, give me a call, shoot me an email. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions in regards to the solar generators. Uh, we do have stock, a lot of stock of our EcoFlow product, both in the Canadian warehouse for Canadian customers and in the U.S. warehouse for U.S. customers. So those are available. We have a lot of stock of our solar blankets here, ready to go as well too. Um, so if you're looking for something, we offer that. For our American customers, we do not offer we do not charge US sales tax. So that's a big bonus for you as well too. For any of our European customers, if there's something you want, give us a call or shoot us an email. Let us know what it is and your address because I have to manually do up a, um, a quote for the shipping cost to you just because our website's not set up for it at this point in time. But we will ship to you any of our solar blanket products. We cannot unfortunately ship any of the, uh, the power stations just because you're on the other side of the ocean. So that's not possible. So other than that, yeah, I just wanted to go over this, give you folks an idea of what we do offer. Hopefully this will answer some of your questions, give you a better idea. Um, other than that, Christmas is coming. Make sure in our crazy times, you know what? Family is the most important thing and friends. Enjoy your time. Don't let this stuff weigh heavy on your, on your heads or what's going on in our interesting world. Know that, uh, you know what? Just do what you can. Do what you can. 
what I tell everybody is I, I'm preparing for the worst, hoping for the best, but I'm still trying to, I'm doing my best to live each day to the fullest. I recommend that to everybody. But either way, I'll put my um, uh, email phone number at the back. If you like your content, please like and subscribe. I know my videos aren't 100% polished like everybody else is. Um, I just want to get content out there. I don't care about all the glitz and the glam. I just want to get the content out there, give you some good solid information, give you the meat and potatoes, and hopefully you'll, you'll find value in it. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, stay safe, guys.